The last time the brand built a bespoke model from the ground up, W.O. Bentley was still on the payroll. At the same time, the world was on the precipice of total financial ruin and Bentley itself was about to be bought by Rolls-Royce. While today's backdrop bears some similarities to 1931, Bentley can at least now consider itself in good health. In 2016, the Mulsanne was facelifted with Bentley majoring on giving the big luxury car a fresh modern look, while empowering its technology to take the fight to the Rolls-Royce Phantom and the Mercedes-Maybach S600. Looking towards the future, there is talk that the Mulsanne could be in line to receive an all-electric powertrain as Bentley aimed to rein in the emissions its luxury machines make, while their marketing manager was keen not to rule out talk of a convertible Mulsanne in the future. Design and Styling The Mulsanne's look is traditional Bentley but with a modern touch, including an array of LEDs around the headlights circumference to provide depth beam. The front is a homage to the Bentley S type of the 1950s, but the look is thoroughly modern. You can have the radiator grille in body color or chromium plate to choice, and working your way through the ample options list is one of the most satisfying parts of buying a Bentley as you create your own aesthetic blend of color, wheel design, interior finishes and so on. The bespoke world of Bentley Mulliner takes customization to a level many dealers could only dream of. Bentley's flagship saloon is just under 5.6 meters long. As such, it's about 350 millimeters longer than Jaguar's long wheelbase XJ, and large even by Bentley's own standards. The long bonnet, short front overhang and long rear overhang is textbook luxury car styling. Against this girth, the wheels measure 20 inches, although 21s are optionally available. The Mulsanne's body allows for some of that weightless growth. It sits on a steel monocoque and features lightweight superformed aluminium doors and front wings, a process born of the aerospace industry. Despite the cutting-edge technology, the D pillars are so complex, they are created by coach builders. Earlier this year the Mulsanne Speed was given a light facelift which largely saw the wick of the turbocharged 6.75-liter engine. Performance The Mulsanne's body cloaks an entirely new chassis for a Bentley. It consists of double wishbones at the front and a multi-link system at the rear. The body is suspended via an adaptable air suspension system that allows the car to lower its ride height at speed and maintain good body control and level suspension irrespective of load. The Mulsanne's powertrain is a totally refreshed version of Bentley's 6.75-litre twin-turbocharged V8, now producing 505 bhp and 752 pounds-foot of torque. Other engines were considered, Bentley says, but dismissed because they wouldn't produce the effortless low rev to work that owners of Grand Bentleys expect. However, the technical update includes variable phasing of the single camshaft, cylinder deactivation to make it a V4 under light load, and lightweight pistons, conrods and crankshaft. It's a direct descendant of the original Rolls-Royce Bentley V8 of 1959, but today's engine could idle on the old one's unburnt exhaust hydrocarbons alone. The engine is partnered with the very latest 8-speed automatic gearbox from specialist ZF. Bentley's Titanic push rod V8 is the reason why. Despite tracing its ancestry back to 1952, it feels wonderful under the long prow of the Mulsanne, refined, potent, still as industrious and idiosyncratic to listen to as ever and, at last, perfectly matched with the modern gearbox. Although very hushed at idle, you get a taste of the engine's distant savagery when you blip the throttle out of gear. The crankshaft zaps beyond 3,500 revolutions per minute in an instant, and with enough force to rock the substantial Mulsanne laterally on its suspension. In gear, the twin-turbo V8 provides huge, lag-free urge, enough to make the car feel very brisk when given its head. The engine only revs to 4,500 revolutions per minute, but the ZF gearbox juggles ratios so judiciously that flexibility is never in question. All you get is instant and considerable performance, in whichever of the car's six intermediate gear ratios is best chosen to deliver it. Of more importance to many owners will be the refinement the car affords, and here the Mulsanne excels. Ride and Handling 
Mulsanne's ride is perfectly comfortable most of the time, but its chassis lacks the capacity to absorb the sharpest shocks in a way that the most refined limousines do. If you're in the driving seat, however, you can forgive the Mulsan its minor shortcomings simply by selecting Bentley mode on the rotary controller. Now the car's steering gathers weight, its suspension programs itself for tighter body control, and you can have a great deal of fun guiding this substantial British aristocrat briskly along a flowing B-road. There's remarkable accuracy and feel through the steering, plenty of composure from the chassis and, all the time. A reserve of 752 pounds foot of torque to tape into. But, in firm or still sport mode, you can push too hard. Muted crashes through the chassis, and a building sense of reactiveness and imprecision from the steering are the messages sent to warn that you've progressed beyond the car's natural gait. And yet, it's remarkable how fast you can go on really testing roads before those messages materialize and how satisfying a driver's car the Mulsanne can be 98% of the time.